All right, guys, we got my brother here again. We just opened up some of the decks and we're gonna go ahead and have him open up some of the packs since he doesn't know as much about. We're gonna get, we're gonna see what he thinks about what's uh, what's going on in these. Uh, what's up, guys? So we have some packs from Cryptid Nation, unfortunately second edition, some packs from UFO, Nightfall, and Wilderness. These three are first edition. Uh, I like to do things a little mixed up, so. Gonna go ahead <laughs> and just <laughs> randomize these so we're getting the packs in like a completely random order because I have no idea what's in any of these, so this is all new to me. Uh, I have a lot of experience in Magic the Gathering, I hear that this is very familiar to that territory, so maybe I'll have an idea of what I'm looking at, maybe not. Is there any like uh, order for these? Like like a Pokemon pack, or is it just yeah? It's the bronze in the front. Those are the commons. Then it's the silver, which is basically uncommon. And then you get your foil, uh, full hollow or reverse hollow. And then you get your gold. Gold of power. Didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> oh, uh, Wampus Cat. So I'm really only interested in the foils because I'm a rarity chaser in any game that I play. This beastie costs one uh, generic? Yeah. To, uh, to contract if you have fed a cat today. Wow. When so this... you got a cat laying all over the place. There you go. Yeah, I got plenty of cats. When this beastie destroys another beastie in combat, this beastie recovers 10 LP. That's pretty decent. Especially if you can get it out for one. Germinate... So this is the rare after the foil? Yeah. You need like a token, a terror, and an aura. I see. I'm going to a nightfall pack. We have commons, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't care too much for. Hey, you know, sometimes you never know, man. Actually, um, have this card from uh, Comic Con last year. I got a a pack. I believe it's a first edition copy too, and I got it in like reverse foil. Cool. It's like one of the only cards I actually have laying around. Dispel Evil, Oklahoma Octopus. Contract. You may place this page into the afterlife to create eight tentacles tokens. Jeez. Arena, I would say for now, in the dirty. game, that don't seem to be the most effective thing, but I can imagine in the future, that's just going to be a mind-blowing oh, yeah. card. Yeah, that seems very combo-centric. Well, those little symbols means it heals at the end of the turn, too. It heals twice. What is it, like healed? I think like 20. 20. That's your symbol. We got a I believe. nightfall pack. Um, the more I open, the more this bat grows on me. I guess, uh, could be, pretty decent. could be canopies. Per symbol? Yeah, it's either 10 or 20. Boost aura, earth fire. Even though I'm supposed to be the one knowing more, I don't know as much either. We're both pretty new into this game, but I think it's getting more and more interesting. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate one of that aura <laughs> and one of this aura. So basically... I mean, it's the forest and spirit. So it's a mana dork. You may not control more than two artifact essence in the arena. So I guess that's a requirement. Oh, wow. Or I just wreck me. May you get your tentacle token. We have a wilderness path. Let's see what we get. Oh, lovely. Some commons. I mean, I'll brush through them. I, I assume people are interested in these, but I'm only interested in these. Wouldn't be a pack without them. Yakalope. This page cannot declare attacks if a drink isn't with eyesight. <laughs> 
Uh, what does that mean? Like a liquor drink or like any type of liquid? I guess that's up to the up to players to decide. Beasties you control cannot be damaged by effects that damage multiple beasts. Okay. Big Bird. Big Bird. We have uh, another wilderness pack. Some common. Boring, boring, boring. Oh wow, there's very little foiling on this, but it like works. Yeah, that's it. That's a little reverse. Scorching Rod Sigil Arena. So that's if it's in the arena? Yeah. If this, if whatever oh, that symbol is, is active, you may inflict that <laughs> to target Beastie at the end of the turn. All right, that's a lot of symbols in this effect, so I'm going to go ahead and... I know, I can tell you, this one symbol is convert, which you can use it for mana. That's all I know. Mm. And Starlight Bloom. You may fatigue this artifact at any time to generate one light and or... Cosmic. Oh, and Cosmic Aura. You may not control more. Okay, so I read this to make up for the one that I didn't read. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Destroy Aura. Walla. Oh, Walla Walla Lake Crustacean. Poltergeist. The Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. Bloody Bones. Caster Center MD. Hmm. Dampen. Build Buzzard. You may ring a bell. If you do, target caster reveals a random page from their chapter. When you contract a page, target page <laughs> recovers 20 LP. I like this one. Guardian Angel. You may contract this page whenever you target by an attack, even if it's not your turn. Well, you don't get targeted by attacks on your own turn, do you? Not currently, but you know. If you do, end that combat. Wow. That's seriously broken. Get through us. Oh, land tax. That sounds familiar. And it's also one... It's not one white though, it's one generic. Yeah. River of Time. Nice. Take another turn after this one. Right. Now keep in mind, you could potentially play that for one mana. Guardian Angel, nice. That's I mean, supposed to be a shadow token. Aura. Rotation. If you generate it, it's a mana. Lightning strikes twice. Jeering rocks, unicorn, beam up, open black angel, restricting roots. The explosive rabbit. Look at the art on that. Dang. This beastie does, does a little nicer. This BC does plus ten damage. On its attacks, if it is the month of July. <laughs> wow. If this beastie was destroyed when it is not your turn, target beastie artifact or caster is dealt 10 damage and is inflicted with. Is that burn, I think? That thing. I think it, it does burn. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. Might be playable for it's one. July. <laughs> in July it's playable any other year any other month of the year it's garbage mm. oh yeah Medford Schmoot is my card right here that 
definitely going to build a deck from scratch out of that. Lizard people. Search your spellbook for a beastly alien and place it into your chapter. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. For two cosmic. Scorching Rod Sigil. We have a me cook. A me cook. Cosmic Warp, Static Wand, Tech Kettler, T Kettler, Brain in a Jar, Exquisite Stew. Vampire Mercy Brown, Bell Witch, Arena. After awakening your pages at the beginning of your turn, if the result is not a one or a six, this page must declare an attack immediately. Once per turn, contract spell in your cemetery. Okay, I think this is good because the way I read that is you can play things from your graveyard. That's always good. Jack Frost. Still got plenty of packs over here. Yeah. Some more commons and uncommons. Iowa Dragon. Nice. Deal 25 damage to target opposing caster. Inflict that caster and their beasties with... What's that thing? Haunted Tundra. Are any of the uh, Terra worth anything? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I know a couple of the special auras are worth something. Mm -hmm. There's like one in UFO, one in Wilderness, and one in Seance. The Red Ghost. You may contract this page for your afterlife. If you destroy three same pages of that spirit, I think. Okay. Huh? That doesn't sound like a good deal. <laughs> Momo! Correct me if I'm wrong, but that in fact sounds like a bad deal. <laughs> Avalanche, Headless Cannoneer, Wolf Among Sheep, Sam's Trusty Baseball Bat, Accordion, Accordion Anteater? Accordion Eater, <laughs> Frost Rings, San Pedro Mountains Mummy. It's weird that, like, if the name is too long, they just say, fuck it, extra line of text for the name. <laughs> Men in Black. If you are wearing a suit, this beastie deals plus 20 attack damage. Contract once per game. You may have target opposing caster. Place all pages in their chapter to the bottom of their spell book in any order. They choose the net caster bookmarks for. Mm. Depends, like, what's in their hand and what are they putting back. Everything's gonna get better with time. That's all, that's all I can say. Pretty good. Back to back men in blacks. That card just got so much better from pulling them two in the same pack. Now I think it's better. <laughs> got our cons and uncons. Yeah, you had a moment with them. Yeah, I had a moment. Phoenix Rain. Deal 100 damage to all casters. All non-fire beasties and non... I think water? Water beasties in the arena are inflicted with... That thing. Burn. Wait, what? There's no... It's missing two cards. Oh. Well, I think that was, that was a second edition pack, right? I think they did it a little different in that pack. Oh. Grab the Gindo! Grab the Shift, Lightning Spark, Trap Springer, Kodiak Dinosaur, Dwarf Star, Whirling Wimpus, 
Burning Spirit Imprint. You may fatigue this artifact any time to generate one fire and one spook, one ghost, <laughs> whatever that symbol is. You may not control more than two artifact essence. So I assume there's like these for every pair of colors. Good. We open a couple like that. Yeah, there's like a couple on the last couple sets. I think there's the first set's got those those double auras, and then after that they just got a bunch of dual types. The Metal Man of Alabama. If you are able to place a piece of tin foil into the arena without leaving your seat or spot you are standing, Metal Man of Alabama can be contracted for one less lightning aura. If there is a radio with an eyesight, Metal Man of Alabama loses this thing and that thing. Look at this. I think there's a fleet and first strike. But he, he could like come in and attack immediately. Um, and then, I think mean, Bios would go first. So, what? Forest God's Amber. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate two. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. So, uh, you call him Man of Rocks and Magic. What will you call him in this game? I just call him Gems. Oh. Sums up the names quite well. Gems. They all got like different. There's like Mermaid Scales, Mermaid. Uh, fucking other things. There's all different names. Whoa. Medium's third eye. Place this spell in each non-aura page into the arena. In the arena, into their respective afterlives. That is nice. Kill everything. Kill them all and get them out of here. Foo fighters! Spectacular. The target beastie is dealt 25 damage for each status effect in the... In is inflicted with. For each status effect. Oh, it is inflicted with. Okay, so this guy has multiple attacks? No, those are abilities. Mm. You, you fatigue him to use one of those too. Iridescent orb. So we got five more packs. Potion, da, da, da. commons and commons, we all know them, we love them, we hate them. Tizurok. If it is snowing, Tizurok gains an invisible. And in that beasties are considered beasties instead as long as Tizurok is in the arena. Mm. I could see like potential combos with forcing things to be things they're not. How many like cards are in the actual pool of this game? Is it like well per set, I think it tells you at the bottom over here somewhere. Oh yeah, 86 of 165 for this set, so five sets. Car Carmel area creature. If this beastie is revealed from the top of your spell book or sent to the cemetery, you may contract it for one aura. Spirit Infusion Suit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hidden Templars. When this beastie declares an attack, this beastie loses that symbol. After the combat resolves until the start of your next turn, if this beastie is fatigued and touching a that artifact, it gains Defender. Defender. Dragon Rise. Dragon's Rise. Mm -hmm. This is the second to last pack. Matlocks. This 
beastie target beastie's name matlocks gain lp equal to the page's current lp and adds x damage to its attack where x is equal to the damage of one of this page's attacks mm -hmm. that's pretty good and you can have 10 of these per spell book that's a whole deck right there. Just 10 of these and whatever. I mean, he costs six, so he's pretty late game. Oh, um, I guess. So, like, some stuff to get you up to that point. Some gems or whatever. <laughs> Super alligator. Walking sand. That is our last foil. And it looks cool, so that's something. All right, All right, guys, thank you for uh, watching. Stay tuned. We'll try and post some more videos and get some more good content off the ground for you. Uh, take care, guys.